In this video, we will be watching and reviewing 100 years of the lowest rated cartoons in history. And make sure to stay until the end because out of pure luck, the lowest rated show in this entire list is in 2020. We're starting off with In Dutch from 1925. This is a short animated film created by Aesop's Fable Studios, the first studio to have a cartoon with a synchronized soundtrack, and also arguably known as the studio who inspired Walt Disney to create Mickey Mouse. While being so revolutionary, majority of their series are very low rated, and it makes sense because the only thing that happens in in dutch is some mice steal a pair of shoes that's it that's all that happens and it's dragged out for eight entire minutes in my opinion the rating is very well deserved Think I gotta go. moving into the 1930s the most popular cartoon during this time period was surprisingly popeye instead of mickey mouse with it having a 7.6 out of 10 rating on imdb compared to the lowest rated 1930s cartoon called the stubborn mule having a 3.4 out of 10 and if you're wondering what the 1920s and 1930s cartoons are about you can usually just read the title and it gives the entire thing away. It's about a stubborn mule who's unwilling to move at all or even let his owner ride on him. But what makes this short so surprising is it's actually a lot more entertaining than the last one. So entertaining in fact that I was able to sit through the entire 6 minutes of it. But there's one single thing that's wrong with it. Oh, hell no. During this time period, Disney and a lot of other studios had very racist depictions of black people in their cartoons, usually making their lips really big and giving them big gaps in their teeth. A random review on IMDb about the show is a perfect description of this animated short. If this had starred Daffy Duck or Bugs Bunny with the exact same joke setups in 1939, it would have easily been an 8 out of 10 star rating, but the over the top racism makes it impossible to rate higher than the lowest possible. I think we can all agree this show definitely deserved its rating. Think I gotta go. In the 1940s, the animated short era is pretty much over, with one of the first cartoon series ever being Jim and Judy in Teleland, which is also by far the lowest rated series in this decade. But it has a really cool concept. Jim and Judy are the main characters, and Teleland is the land they go when they crawl through their TV screen. And this shit was so ahead of its time, look at what the TV looked like in 1949, and now look at what the TV looked like in the show. They basically predicted the flat screen. While the show is so ahead of its time, it's also incredibly boring. When they go through the TV screen, the show gets hit with the one piece curse and I instantly fall asleep. I think I gotta go. The 1950s have the most infamous show on this entire list, Patty the Pelican, known as the worst cartoon in history, but still somehow not the lowest rated, so make sure to stick around till the end. Patty the Pelican is known for having horrible sound quality, <coughs> bad animation, and improvised voiceover at times. So gone, Amos. The boat is wet. But even so, I was happy to have my feet on solid ground again. Oh, my head is spinning. It straight up feels like they got voice actors off the street. Most of the shots are also just them repeating the same animated scenes over and over to fill up extra time. This is definitely the worst cartoon yet. The 1960s birthed one of the most popular cartoons in history, Scooby-Doo. But what the hell, boy? <laughs> the Mighty Mr. Titan is an animated exercise training course series airing from 1965 to 1966, made to teach the importance of exercising to kids. And after watching a couple episodes, I became extremely bored, but it's teaching them points of exercise to children so i'm all for it this is the first series that doesn't deserve the ratings heading into the 1970s we have our first non-american cartoon it's actually an anime called hoshinoko porn what did he say <laughs> Hoshi no Koporon. It's about an alien kid that gets transported to Earth in a flying saucer. And instead of talking to humans, he just talks to animals for some reason. That alone already sounds pretty boring, but it's not that bad, honestly. Just a mid show like most of the animes during this time period. The 1980s had a Garbage Pail Kids animated series with another. <laughs> the show is all around boring, but has the funniest voice acting I've ever heard in my entire life. Okay, yeah, bro, that definitely deserves the hate. In the 1990s, we have Mega Babies, a show about babies with powers that save the city from evil. If that doesn't sound bad enough, just look at the cover. This show honestly isn't that bad. I honestly feel like I would watch it as a kid. In 2009, a show called Pixel Pinky came out, and I somehow have never seen or heard of this show. It's about a genie that comes out and grants wishes for two middle school girls. And this show is by far the worst one yet. It has the worst animation I have ever seen from any animated show on this entire list. And it's so painful to watch because the show was animated on like 2 FPS or something. Plenty must be the friendliest place in the world. It's also so far the most boring show on this list. And it airing until 2012 is beyond me. 1 out of 10 show. Well, the show is rated a 1.4 on IMDb, so that's basically a 1 already. I don't like the peppermint. You don't like the peppermint. 
Ah, oh, the 2010s, the golden age of cartoons. With the start of shows like Regular Show Adventure Time and Amazing World Gumball, it really can't get any better than this. Miracle Star sounds like a great name until you find out it's an exact AI copy of Amazing World of Gumball, but it's Chinese. And when I say copy, I mean exact copy, down to every single episode and scene, just with different characters. This show deserves a 0 out of 10. Now for the finale and the worst rated show on this entire list. The Red Ape Family. An NFT show about bored apes. It's crazy to think how hard NFTs fell off. I haven't heard anyone talk about them for like 2 years now. Anyways, the show only lasted 2 episodes until it was ultimately cancelled with good reasons too. Because this show has literally no plot whatsoever. Random stuff just happens in it. It's about bored apes going to Mars in the year 2130. Because the earth is dying. And after that, I actually have no idea what was happening. There's these 2 British guys for some reason and they literally serve no purpose to the episode at all. It honestly just feels like a YouTube poop from 2006 or something. It's so bad and I understand why it's the lowest rated show on this entire list.